Hi, I'm Kurt Miller. I'm the uh, president of Axel Products. I founded Axel Products about 21 uh, years ago. And uh, Axel Products is a uh, physical testing laboratory and uh, our customers are all analysts. They're people that make, uh, make computer simulations and it ranges from uh, aerospace to automotive to military to biomedical. But the uh, common thread throughout is uh, nonlinear uh, computer simulations. Uh, the materials that we test at our laboratory are mostly rubber and plastic materials. And uh, we first started working with Mark uh, actually over 20 years ago and we put together the uh, Mark 103 uh, elastomeric analysis and testing class. So it really goes back a long way. Uh, rubber and plastic materials, at least the uh, applications we're involved in, are, are quite, quite complex. And uh, they are nonlinear. And what, what that means is they can't be described with a simple uh, modulus and uh, yield point and Poisson's ratio. They typically involve curve fitting and equations and, and things of that nature. The uh, Mark product has always had really uh, advanced material models. Uh, originally, uh, the material models that we were working with are called hyperelastic material models or rubber models. And they are quite special in that those material models are able to handle the incompressible nature of rubber. So in other words, it's super, super stiff when confined but uh, other times it's uh, quite soft and that it can shear and flow rather easily. And uh, that kind of material presents a lot of numerical challenges. And the uh, Mark nonlinear material models were very, very uh, unique, uniquely able to handle these kinds of problems. Uh, more recently, uh, the latest versions of Mark uh, have added things, uh, added the ability to combine models, combine hyperelastic behaviors with various kind of plastic behaviors and uh, so that's that's kind of exciting. They've also uh, dealt with one of the more difficult challenges in that uh, it, it deals with vibrational challenges. When we have an engine mount or a vibrational seal, the stiffness of the elastomer actually depends on the amplitude of the vibration and uh, traditionally these kinds of problems have only been able to be sensitive to frequency not so much uh, amplitude or mean strain. We first started working with Mark uh, actually over 20 years ago, so it really goes back a long way.